Hi, I'm Paul and this is Kat. Welcome to the Cheese Kitchen. We've um, learned about how to uh, make yogurt using some yogurt cultures. We learned about adding rennet yep. to make a fresh curd. And today we're going to add another step in, cutting and stirring. To learn about those, we're going to actually make some halloumi. To start, again, we go back with our milk. You need to heat that to 35 degrees, Kat. So could you just pass me the thermometer? Now, while that's heating up, I'll just go through the equipment that we need. Obviously, we need pot, milk, thermometer, some hand sanitizer, rennet, spoon, knife, measuring cylinder. We also need a new piece of equipment, a cheese hoop or a cheese mould. And we also need something to brine the cheese in because after we've made the cheese, mm -hmm. we need to um, soak it in some salty water okay. to give it some flavour. Okay, so that milk's up to temperature, 35 yep. degrees. Okay. We're gonna measure out the rennet. Mm -hmm. For two litres of milk, I'm gonna use just half a mil of rennet. I'm gonna pour my rennet in like I did last time, and I'm stirring in a figure of eight. I'm gonna stir for minimum one minute, no more than three. And it's gonna take about 10 minutes for this to coagulate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's firming up mm -hmm. now. The rennet started to work, but it's gonna keep working. And the longer we leave it there, the firmer the cheese gets and the more moisture it locks in. What I'm gonna do is cut the curd into little one centimeter dice. What we're trying to do through cutting and stirring is remove whey. So we, we just wanna keep the curds. Now we've cut this way, we've cut that way. We've gotta cut this way, which is difficult. <laughs> So we just do as best we can. Just run it down like that. And you notice how there's whey is starting to come out now. Okay, so it's cut. Now we're just gonna let it sit there for 10 minutes and then we'll start stirring it. See how fragile and soft the curds are? If we stir too strongly, they'll break up. We want them to stay as close to that one centimetre mark as we possibly can. I've been stirring for five minutes and then I'll stop and rest for ten yep. and then I'll stir for another five and then rest for another ten. Yep. I'll stir for another five and then I will um, put it in this mould here. Okay so we've had a rest for 10 minutes so it's time to stir again and you'll see there's a lot more whey now so yep. it's the, uh, the whey is coming out of the curds and the actual curds themselves shrink up so they're getting firmer and firmer. I think we're done with stirring. Now we're going to hoop. So this can get a bit messy so it's probably best to do it at a sink. And how full do you fill it? I'm going to fill it, put all these curds in this one hoop. Um, I've got most of them out now, so what I'll do is I will pour this through this other hoop okay. in the sink. It's going to get very messy and then I'll bring them back and drop okay. them in the top. This is going to drain for maybe about an hour, but um, see how it's all rough on top. Mm -hmm. So we need to turn it. So the first turn's always a bit difficult. Ah. And then we just plop that back down in there like that. Now it doesn't matter if it's a bit messy on your first turn because you're going to do a few. We turn for two reasons. One, it helps it drain. And two, it creates a nice even cheese. And I'm actually going to sit that one up there on top of that other mould to let it drain easily. Okay, Kat, this has been draining for about 10 minutes. And you'll notice yeah. how the top is quite rough. Okay. So if you turn that now... It's not all going to fall apart on me, is it? No, it won't fall apart. Once it's matted together, it's pretty ah, strong. Ah, it's firm and spongy. Yeah. Wow. So we're going to keep turning this um, every 10 or 15 minutes for the next hour. We want to keep turning until there's no more whey coming out. Okay, Kat, this is um, ready for its last turn. Yep. There's not much whey coming out anymore. So while I'm getting 
doing that, can you just bring over the water and the salt for the brine? Yep. This is the way that we used that came out that of the cheese when it was draining. So we're just heating that up to about um, 85 degrees. Okay. And then we're going to put the cheese in there. So while that's warming, can you just stir in some salt? You're going to need about uh, 500 grams in there. So just stir it until it stops dissolving. So you want to see a little bit of salt left on the bottom. And that means that the water is as salty as it will get. Okay, Kat, can you just pass me the thermometer, please? We want it around the 85, 90 degree mark. That's where that is now. And I'm just going to lower the cheese into that and see how it's sunk. When that's cooked, it'll actually float to the top. Okay, Kat, that's been in there 15 minutes now. So all we have to do now is take it out and put it into our brine. We're gonna let that cheese sit in there for two hours. Yep. Um, that'll get the right amount of salt in there. Well, when it's finally ready, I'm gonna make char-grilled asparagus, halloumi and lemon. Great, let's yep. get stuck into it. <laughs> We're hungry. Hungry. <laughs> We're hungry. <laughs>